Hello, my name is Pablo Oropesa, and I am a senior at Bishop Board High School. I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm among seven children from Pauline and Jaime Oropesa. Yes, that's seven. At a young age, my parents decided that I needed a good education, so they elected to enroll me at Our Lady of Unity Catholic School. Though we were considered low income, my parents made giving me the best education possible a top priority. Towards that end, my parents worked many hours to put me through Catholic school. My parents were fiercely strict and hard on me when it came to my schoolwork. Let me be clear, this was not always easy. At times, I struggled with my grades. I struggled with math. <laughs> math is hard. I had a lot of help through grade school and middle school. I met people who helped shape me into the person I am today. And one of those people is Sister Ellen Horn. When I first entered the sixth grade, I had no idea what I was getting into. As we lined up outside Sister Ellen's classroom door to walk into science class, she walked outside and greeted us. She said, welcome to science class. As you enter my room, please walk around the desks one time before you sit down in your seats. This was very odd. I mean, why can't I just go sit in my assigned seat? So we walked into the room, and of course, none of us listened. We all sat down in our seats without walking up around, without walking around the organized desks. She walks in with a pout on her face and says, sixth grade, get up, get out, and do it again. I tell you, we did this at least seven times before, before we actually started class because there were always one or two people who didn't follow sister's directions. But this was Sister Ellen. In her class, she had strict rules that needed to be followed. For a long time, my sixth grade class was unruly, loud, and mostly unbehaved. But I can tell you, after three years with Sister Ellen, we were shaped into a well-behaved, well-mannered group who had dignity and honor and respect for everyone especially Sister Ellen. You may think this woman, was, this woman was all business, who was hard and tough on her students. Well, she was those things, but Sister Ellen was also loving and caring. To Sister Ellen, teaching was more than a job. It was her life, and we were her children. I have no doubt in my mind that she loved us more than even herself. She would help us when we were down, congratulate us when we won, taught us humility in our triumphs, and scolded us when we misbehaved. She was like our second mother. I remember a time when I was scared about the prospect of high school and college. I remember a time when I was told that people of my kind don't go to college and don't receive a higher education. When I alluded, this, when I alluded to this while talking to Sister Ellen, she told me this, Pablo, you are the only person that can shape your future. You are the only one who can tear down the barriers that keep you from doing the things that you truly want, you, you truly want to achieve. Forget the statistics and the numbers, and especially the opinions. You can do anything you put your mind to. I realized then, as I do now, that I will never let anything hold me back from achieving the goals I have set for myself. When I began high school, I thought it was going to be tough and difficult. Though it is challenging and I have had demanding teachers, none have been half as demanding as Sister Ellen. The lessons I learned from her taught me that I should never be afraid to do anything, to be involved, to get good grades, to go to college. But I could not dream of this if it were not for the gracious and generous donors of the Catholic Education Foundation. Because of you, I have these aspirations, and I have the opportunities I have today. Because of you, I was able to attend Our Lady of Unity, and I was able to meet Sister Ellen. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for your generosity. Thank you so much for believing in my future. Next year, I'll attend college. I'd like to study political science and attend law school. One day, I hope to pay it forward to the children of our Catholic schools so they may experience what I have. The road has never been easy, and I don't expect it to get easier. But so long as I have people who believe in me, 
I know that I can accomplish anything I set my mind to. Thank you. God bless you all, and you have a wonderful night.